Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Mother Chudders video. Today I'll be showing you an in-depth tutorial on how we use mods on Grounded. Um, so this is the updated one, um, because a lot of you can't be bothered to uh, look at what we've been replying and look at our previous videos. So I thought I'd make this one final video on how we do our mods, um, and then that will be that. So the main four that we use are the Command Injector, the Unreal Model Viewer, the uh, Cheat Table, and ground, uh, Fling's Grounded Trainer. Uh, so all of them have their perks. The uh, Cheat Table is fantastic, as is the Command Injector, but the uh, Grounded Trainer I do tend to use um, for the one um, thing, which is set move speed. So that'll enable you to just walk a bit faster because if you're doing a lot of things, like when I was doing the 100% game safe, that is just... It's so nice, and once you start using it, you start walking. And uh, when when you're back to normal speed, you just feel like you're walking really slow. So the first thing is we're going to just open Command Injector. So if we just do that, uh, select Process, and then click uh, Main, and then Inject. You should see in the bottom um, top left corner four boxes arrived. There we are. And then just a quick test, press the uh, tilde key and just you can see that you've got a console on your um, grounded. Uh, the next thing is grounded trainer. So if you just click yes, uh, you get a screen like this. So just like the uh, Unreal Injector, you're just gonna select the process, um, grounded, keep the current yes, and then you just click enable, wait for it to enable. And then you've got your menu. So if we just go into our current game save, I do believe the game save I've got is the 100% game save that uh, I've made available for everyone. Just wait for grounded to load. Okay, so we're in the game. So if I just turn on God, just in case uh, something comes and attacks me. Right, so time speed 100, let's just, just make, the day, make it daytime so it's easy for everyone to see. So uh, I'll go through the uh, cheat engine uh, table first because it's the quickest and then we can uh, go through the console commands. So if we go into this bit, we can uh, enable, which we've already done, editable values. The ones we normally use in survival settings are these. So this is basically the settings that you can change on your custom game modes, but you can do it in game so you can still uh, get achievements. So you can click unlock all, unlock all recipes, auto complete free buildings, let's just enable that, that's basically creative mode. And recipes ignore in, uh, require ingredients, just click disabled. That way then you can upgrade all your weapons and just build anything you want. There's so many other features in here like creatures ignore players, stamina, um, ways enabled, you can turn that off because that is bloody annoying. Um, anything like that, uh, heat multiplayer, player damage multiplayer, enemy damage, building health multiplayer, that is amazing. If you're doing the mixes and you just change that to an insanely high number, basically buildings have infinite damage, build a wall around it and then you're good to go. Uh, the other ones we'd use is scripts and you can also do big heads, which I forgot about, so let's just enable that. Um, infinite health, infinite oxygen, infinite stamina, all these. One hit kill I tend to leave off because it makes everything in the game um, just have zero health. Uh, unbreakable items, infinite L, build anywhere. That's really helpful, build anywhere. Um, infinite analyzer, free crafting, remove depth of field. As you can see, it just went from blurry to non blurry and infinite jumps. So now, if we go back to the game, you can see infinite jumps is enabled, no uh, blur. And what I mean by the um, recipes require ingredients, so see, if we were just to go to the Workbench, for example, build it, it's instantly built, and then we can go into that. Let's just make a, a bone dagger. There you go, didn't even need anything. Um, let's do a smithing station as well. Where's that? And then, like that, we can just press space. 
There you go. Fully maxed out dagger. Well, I don't know why you'd need that, but there we go. Right, so that is that one. So the main one, which I'm pretty sure most people are interested in, is the um, commands now. So what we do now is if we go into Unreal, select the C drive, uh, program files, scroll down, uh, Windows apps, and then main, Microsoft.main, select folder, click OK, and then you get this view, all right? So there's two ways you can do it. You can either just do flat view, which I normally do. So say you're looking for the uh, trinkets, uh, how do you spell accessories? There you go, so you've got them there. You're looking for anything with BP underscore, and that means you can spawn it in. So this one here, so say we wanted to spawn in the um, currently unavailable um, web uh, trinket, as you can see, it says invalid 1645. Let's say we wanted to spawn that in. So what you don't really need to pause it, I just press the tilde key, and that enables you to go anywhere on your computer. We've got to go to zipline up, right click, copy package path, come back, summon, and then control V to paste it in. Then what you're gonna do is delete the d.u asset, and then after the dot, you're gonna type it in again, bp underscore world underscore accessory underscore zip line up, and then you're gonna do underscore C, boom, and then it spawns in, and you've got it. This works for anything, so say we wanted to do um, the creatures, so normally, if you if you are looking for creatures, just go to game, blueprints, creatures. Let's say we want to spawn in a black widow, so you found it here, base, blah, 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 blah. spider black widow, copy it copy path, T, summon, control V, delete the dot U asset, um, and then BP underscore spider, underscore black, oh, widow, underscore C, enter, and this little bastard arrives. Oh shit, turn on it for the damage. And hi -ya. there you go. Boom. So that is incredibly useful. So if you've seen my previous video, um, you can't even trash them. Uh, if you've seen my previous video on how we got the uh, gold things, um, just look back uh, in one of our videos, how to get all gold cards. It's somewhere over there. There's like a rock on the other side of the fence. If you spawn them in, uh, they just instantly die. You pick them up and eventually you just unlock all the gold cards. Um, and on some of these, as you can see, I've got very low um, kill uh, things that's because when you kill them like that it doesn't actually count to your kills so um, if you're like me where you don't really necessarily I know I've got a couple here if you don't necessarily want ridiculous numbers of how many you've killed like that 439 um, that would be a good way to do it so that is basically that um, that that is how you summon things in now and the mods that we use um, the downloads will be in the description I forgot where we got them um, so I'll try and find them. If not, they'll just be Google Drive links from for our Google Drive for you to download them. Uh, I hope that's been informative. Uh, any other questions, please comment below. Um, but if, if it's a comment, um, if it's a question on how to use it, which I've explained in this video, um, without sounding rude, I am just going to ignore them. Because what we found is a lot of our videos, um, people don't watch and then ask a question that's answered in the video, <laughs> in the comment section so hope that's been informative thanks very much for watching please watch our other videos on grounders uh, subscribe and i'll see you in the next one cheers